Hi, I'm Dave of Urban Astro, and today I'm going to show you some tools. Yeah, tools, astro photography related tools that you can get off of OPT's website. They actually have these things advertised. One of them is a spanner wrench, and I'll show you what I'm going to use that thing for here in just a second. But yeah, I've been looking for a small spanner wrench, and they're very hard to find. So as part of their Universal Astro series out there at OPT, they have, believe it or not, a Universal Astro spanner wrench. So I'm going to open that box up here and show you what that looks like. And then the other thing is, and I know that I can go to Home Depot and I can buy wrenches. In this case, what I have is Allen keys. And I know that I can go to Home Depot and I can buy Allen key wrenches. But what's really nice about this kit is that you have standard size on this side and metric size on this size. And usually what I find that I have to do is I have to buy two separate kits and then keep them both in my bag. So it's kind of nice having everything in one kit and it's relatively inexpensive. And I'll probably end up dumping these bigger wrenches because, well, I don't think there's anything that I have that's going to require a 3 8 Allen key. So that wrench is probably never ever going to get used and I don't need to carry all that weight. So I'll probably get rid of some of these. And really what I really got this thing for, and it's kind of interesting, what I've discovered is that it was with the RC6 that some of the hex keys were metric sizes and other hex keys were standard sizes. And so I would sit there and I have all my metric size hex keys. Then I have to go search and hunt down for the standard size hex keys because I didn't realize that anybody actually used the standard in astrophotography. And then on some of the cap screws that are used to attach you know, lost Mandy bars or Vixen bars to rings and stuff like that. A lot of them use standard size and not metric size. And I was just kind of baffled because I just assumed that with scientific equipment, which I assumed that all of this would fall underneath the category of scientific equipment, that it would all be metric, but it's not. It's a combination of metric and standard. So. This kit here from OPT, part of their Universal Astro series, they have a combined kit. And so I went ahead and I picked it up just so that way I could throw this into my bag and if I needed a standard size hex, I've got it. If I needed a metric size hex, I've got it. But the real exciting piece for me is the spanner. Yeah, the spanner. See, I often find that I have problems getting rings off, you know, sizing rings, uh, which bump things up from like maybe an M42 to an M48. I find that these things are nearly impossible to get on once you've tightened them on. And it's just been driving me nuts. I've got this one here. You can probably see this is on my... SV Boney 0.8 photo reducer flattener. You can see here that I've chewed this thing up trying to remove this ring to no avail. I've done everything. I've done vice grips on this thing. I've done putting in different kinds of oils and stuff and nothing, nothing can get this ring off. It just seems like uh, it just doesn't work. And so when I saw that they had a spanner wrench, I was like, I've been looking for a spanner wrench, but everything that I'd seen was huge. They're for cars. And so, you know, they're like huge spanner wrenches. And it's like, I don't need a huge spanner wrench. I just need something that I can, you know, lock onto these rings and remove them. And so this is the spanner wrench that comes from OPT. And what's nice about this is that it's, of course, movable. You can move the legs here so that they'll fit whatever you want. 
But what's not so nice is that they have two types. So here's a flat, like a screwdriver flat. So you can, if your rings have slots, you can put these guys into those slots and move them off. They also have points. So if you have holes, because some of these rings will have holes, then you can use these point tips here to go into those holes and to be able to twist that ring off. In this particular case, in fact, I'm actually going to use it here. In this particular case, this particular ring has slots. In fact, you can see a slot right there. And there's another one on this side over here. So here's my thing here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put this thing into that slot and then put this thing into this slot and tighten that up. And now I'm just going to twist. There we go. <laughs> and there we go. This ring, which I've been fighting with for months now, about six months I've been fighting with this ring. I've done everything like put this thing into the oven and heated it up. I put it into the freezer to freeze it. Everything I could think of to try to get this ring to remove. And this ring is destroyed. I mean, you can see that I've just destroyed any potential use of this ring. It's just not possible. But with these and these slots right there, it fits right into those slots, enabling me to be able to easily remove. This little guy is well worth its, it's well worth its cost. And what I like is that if you don't want to use the thumb screws, they also include cap screws, small little cap screws with the associated Allen wrench so that you can remove these thumb screws and use cap screws to really kind of lock it down if you find that there's too much slippage. But I don't find that there's any problems with that. And of course, it comes with these little rubber things here to kind of hold on to the sharp points there so you don't hurt anyone or hurt anything. And so, yeah, so you'll see links to these in the description down below if you're interested, but I'm very happy for the spanner wrench. I've been looking for a spanner wrench now for quite some time and haven't found one that number one is small enough for what I need it for because I don't need a huge foot long spanner wrench with huge massive fittings to it prongs. I just need something that's small enough that I can use on my astrophotography gear without destroying any of it. So anyways, hopefully you found that to be somewhat interesting. I'm always looking for additional pieces to add to my kit, basically because I like to tinker and I like to fix things and I always like to be able to have tools that I know that I'm going to end up using. And you know, I could have used the spanner wrench when I was tuning my mount because there are a number of rings in the mount where a spanner wrench would have been incredibly helpful. And instead I was sitting there with two screwdrivers trying to essentially do the same thing. And it's not as easy as when you got a spanner wrench like that guy there that's specifically designed to remove rings. Astrophotography is really a journey. It's a journey of exploration. It's a journey of discovery. It's sometimes even a journey of frustration as you try to troubleshoot things and try to figure things out. Here's another video showing more of my own journey. And perhaps maybe you can relate your journey to my journey because we all experience similar kinds of things as we work together through this beautiful, beautiful hobby of astrophotography. So as always, clear skies and happy guiding.